Um, I feel like I need to shut up because again, I rambled so, so much. I'm so sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. Actually, no, I am sorry because I've got to edit all this out. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I feel like I've not filmed in such a long time, so that's very weird if we sit down talking to you all again. But I'm back. Basically, I had shows. I've had mocks. I've still got another week of mocks. And I've just been very busy doing like revision, uh, dress rehearsal, be on stage, everything. So I have a favourites video because get you guys updated. Let's do this. <laughs> My first favourite is actually this top. It's meant to be a bardo off the shoulder number, and it's got like th I'll show you the sleeves. It's like these sleeves. They're like kind of three quarter length, and they're cool. And this is cropped. Um, and I've just kind of got a white bardo bardo bando underneath. Um, and it's got this really pretty flowery pattern, light blue, peachy kind of, yeah. Um, I'm, blah, blah, I'm just going to go through clothing favourites first because I've started with my top. So, um, my next clothing favourite is a dress. And again, it's a bardo, it's a bardo dress and it's just like very, yeah. <laughs> it's really thin material, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's one that if you, yeah, oh, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. It's from Primark. I've got mine in a six. I feel like it was like nine pounds maybe. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that. But I really like it. It's really like just cool to wear. Like it feels cool, if you know what I mean. So I wore this the other day because it's been really hot. Woo! Um, I'm wearing this on holiday with me because, yeah, cool, hot dress. Woo! Okay, I need to stop. My next clothing favourite, I actually wore to Shawn Mendes. So if you've seen my Shawn Mendes vlog, you guys will recognise this. It's this kind of... I'm calling it a bralette, but it's not technically a bralette because obviously it'd be slightly smaller. Um, but it's like a really short v-neck crop top, um, and it's got little flowery detailing on it. I don't even know how to describe it. The straps are elasticated, which is super useful, and they're adjustable, so you can get it to like fit perfectly. And this looks really nice. It looks nice with black jeans, blue jeans, white jeans. Just looks great with everything. Um, I've got this in an eight. It's from New Look. I can't exactly remember how much this was, so I'm really sorry. Sorry about my sleeves, they're like, woo! Um, <laughs> so yeah, I really love this top. This is actually one of my favourites I've got for the summer. The next two are the exact same tops, just different colours. Both from Primark, both £3. The first one is this one here, another Bardo. Oh my gosh, what a surprise. Oh, it's flipping. And it's this kind of greyy, blacky, white stretchiness, cooliness. Um, and it's got little frills, and I feel like I showed this in a haul. I did, I showed this in a haul. Haul will be linked down below. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I really like this. Just got it in, I think it's in a six. I thought it was in a four, but it's, yeah, it's a six. Uh, from Primark. And the other one I've got is this really cool bright coral one. I love this so much. It's so cool. Um, yeah, love. Um, I've talked too fast. Ah, oh. Ah, there's a cat on my roof. Um, I just want to say my next favourite is kind of a general, just been really good. This has been since like a few weeks now, you know. Um, if you didn't know, I was in Oliver. Woo, hey, ha, 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 ha. That was one of my favourites. My cat is looking at me like, what the hell is she doing? Hey, Feather! Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, it was so much fun and everyone was really, really nice. It was my first show that I did with like rare productions. So yeah, they were very, very nice. Shout out to any of you who are watching. Woo! Um, so yeah, that was really good. And I've also got a certificate to say, but, so this is my certificate for Oliver. And um, it's a bit broken. <laughs> Basically, it was really sad. It was the last show and everyone was crying and I was like trying to stop myself crying by doing this. And I was, I was literally doing this for like an hour, um, so it got very ripped. Stop me crying. That was a good thing. But yeah, everyone was really nice, and we've got high school musical auditions. When you're watching this, it will be tomorrow. I've got our auditions, and we're all seeing each other again, and we're all super excited. And we've got a cool group chat with India and Kira. Woo, hey. Uh, yeah, so that was my favourite. So if you didn't know, I was principal dancer in it, and it was very, very fun. Um, my next favourite are some pens because I'm so cool and pens are like amazing. 
jokes. I bought these for my revision at school, well not for at school, oh I can't speak, what the hell? I bought these pens, they were on sale for £5 in Romans and they are like the prettiest pens you will ever use in your life. Like, they're papermate ones and they're just, they're amazing, I love them. I also mentioned these in a haul, in a, a vlog, but I'm not going to link that down below because I can't remember which one it was in and <laughs> who can be bothered to search. So, these were very, very useful. They're called, uh, it says Papermate Flare M, but these are amazing. This is my favourite colour, and I also really love this blue because it's just really cool. Um, and I've used these for science mainly because I've done like the titles in loads of different multicolours using these pens, and it just looks super cool. And if you do a revision, surely you want to use nice stuff, because if you're not, then why are you going to revise? Because, you get me? So these have been like a lifesaver because it's actually kind of made me want to revise. The day I got them I was like, I need to do revision. I didn't actually do any revision the day I got them because... <laughs> I've done one of my science mocks, biology. They went terrible, so it's all good. Another favourite are more, more pens, but these are really boring. Well, actually no, it's really cool. They're whiteboard pens. Um, sorry I can't tell you the brand. Say a different language. Uh, I got these off of Amazon. They were like £5, literally and they are amazing there is a black there is a peach which actually comes out is this the one i'm thinking of this one comes out fluorescent orange it's actually a really cool orange just putting it out there um then there's this blue which is kind of like a is like the color of the lid basically um then there's this blue which is super cool then there's this one which is actually pink and it's very nice really like it there's green which is literally this color ah. There's this purple, which is literally this colour, and then there's this one, which is slightly darker, but basically the exact same colour, and they're really great, because for my revision timetable, I like wrote it out all on paper, and then I put, um, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, a plastic wallet, I put a plastic wallet over it, so I can then write and rub it off, so I didn't have to make like a huge timetable, so at the start of each week, I will rub it off and redo it, so that's been really useful, and this has made it colourful and pretty, yeah? Thank you! Um, where was I? Basically, if you want to revise, get pretty pens, because it makes all the difference. The next thing I wanted to share is another book favourite, because recently I've been sharing my book favourites, and you guys seem to be really liking it and agreeing with me. This one actually has a ton of mug stains on it, because I keep it on my bedside table. I brought down 11 mugs out of my room this morning, because I'm really cool, you know? Huh? Um, this book is called The Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr, and Verity gave me this book because she accidentally had two. Don't know if that makes any sense. But they were both new and she'd never read any of them. So she gave one to me because she knows I like it. The blurb of the blurb oh, is about a girl called Flora and she has amnesia. Basically, she had like um, a tumour in her brain and so she had to have an operation to get it out and when she did that, it took some part of her memory part of her brain away so she can only remember from before she was 10 years old and then she can just remember short term things and then um, she kisses someone that she shouldn't and then she remembers it and it's the first thing she's remembered in like seven years or something and it's about and yeah it's really cool and I really like it because throughout it starts it's got set certain lines that are repeated throughout so it link oh I'm shutting the window because this thing is too noisy and it repeats certain things throughout, so it's like really cool that it'll be like, be brave, or it'll be like, I'm 17, I kissed a boy on the beach. And it repeats throughout the whole thing, and I think it's so cool. I, I don't know. And it's just like, oh my god, but I've been a bit weird, I've not properly read this. Because, basically, it's really interesting, so I keep skipping pages and not reading them properly, so I can try and see if she finds this thing. Hey, Beth. Is that right? Come on, you. Don't just sit there. Yeah, it's just a very, very interesting book that has left me kind of skipping pages to find out more, which is probably really bad, but it means it's a good book. Another of my favourites, really super boring, but may help some of you out, revision cards. Woo! Um, these came in a back of... <laughs> these came in a pack of 100 off Amazon. I literally searched revision cards and they were like almost the first that I saw. You can tell they were really big from the photo, which is what I wanted. And look, they're bigger than my head. I can't speak. They're bigger than my head. So, I mean, they're kind of quite big. And, yeah, they're 8 by 5 inches. Woo! And, yeah, I've got, I've used up over half of them so far. And, yeah, they're really useful. Bella, 
one just stood on my laptop. Nothing else to say really, they're just lined revision cards which I find really useful. To do, I did my first GTSE guys, um, I had to do an English speech and I did mine on abortion and it was, I think it went quite well. Right, my next favourite is this lovely lip liner, that's lead. My sister got me this for Christmas, she got like eight or something, I think it was at Christmas? I don't know, the brand I think is True Lips and I don't recognise it from anywhere. But, True Lips Lip Liner Pencil, uh, my favourite is the shade 53. I do currently have it on now, but I feel like it's come off, so. I've just topped it up. I can't tell if it's patchy or not, so if it is, you're going to have to deal with it, because I can't see it from here. Woo! Okay, um, I've been... No, I I've got to shut up. Basically, this is a really lovely lip liner, and you're sharpening now, because, yeah. But, it is really good. It's like a really, really good nude shade with a slightly pinky tone. And I don't usually suit pink lipsticks, but because it's matte and it's not too pinky, it's like really good. And it's kind of pretty much the exact shade. I can't tell if you can see that or not. Uh, it's really, really nice. Search the brand up or I'll try and leave a link or something. I don't know what, whether I'll be able to find anything. But yeah, it's a really pretty shade and I really, really love it. And I love it's matte and it's not like tacky. Just feels real good. I love it. Why did I just scream? I just screamed, okay. Um, my next favourite are these sunglasses. I felt like everyone had sunglasses like this and I thought they were really cool but I didn't think I could pull them off. But I bought some, finally. Um, these were £1.50 from the kids section in Primark because I'm really cool. They fit me perfectly when they're like this. like. Can you imagine like a little kid though? Surely they look really stupid in glasses like this. Cause surely it'd be huge. But um, I really, really like them. They fit me perfectly. But then when I put them like on my head, these don't quite reach my ear. So I mean, I can't really tell whether that means I've got a big head or what because they fit me normally. Um, I really think, I think they're really cool. I kind of got, they're like a rose goldy kind of rim. Um, and it's got them knobbly bits, which I hate on sunglasses, but they're really comfy, so I don't care. Um, yeah. Am I now cool? <laughs> I've got to stop. I've been in like the weirdest mood. This last, like, no, yesterday. I just kind of went crazy all day and I don't know why. Like, something, sw something switched and I was like crazy. I don't even know. Like, it's crazy I've been in like forever and then I was like really crazy all day yesterday and I've been in a really good mood again today and I've still done a revision tape, which I probably should. The camera! Look! No? Okay. I am filming a video right now. Woo woo! From a video, but you're not really, but ha ah, lol, I'm filming whilst filming a video. This probably won't even be in the video, but lol. Okay, um my last well my other favourite was Love Island. Oh my goodness, how could I have forgot that? Basically, if you've not seen Love Island, you really should. Every year I've heard people go on and on and on about Love Island and I thought, what the hell? Like, Love Island, sure that's like the most stupid thing ever. Um, I love it. I started watching it because all my friends were, well not all my friends, but some people who I have a group chat with and they were like saying things and I was like, okay, I'll watch it. So I started from the first episode and I've like watched it and I've watched it every night since and I flipping love it. Like, I really, really do. I think it's so, such a cool concept you can go on and meet love. Like, I need to be on that. Um, I don't know who my favourite is. I really like, um, um, what's his name? I like Camilla. I really, I kind of like Amber, but then I kind of don't like Amber. And then I kind of like Montana, but I kind of don't like Montana. And then new girl Tyler, I kind of like her, but then I'm not sure because she's new. And, um, I love Marcel. He's like the cutest guy ever. And I really like Johnny. And I really liked Harley before he left. Um, I'm just going, okay, I basically named like almost everyone in there. Okay, um, Breathe. Oh, another favourite is Hamilton. I love it. And Full House. I've been obsessed. I've watched like seven seasons really quickly. I love it. Um, I'm almost on season eight. Got two episodes left of Full House. I will see you all soon. Oh, sorry about that. I will see you all soon. I love you all so much. I have a new vlog coming up soon as well. I'm not too sure what day. It might be midweek. Might be sooner. I have no clue. But I found some footage from a couple weeks ago and I was like, hey, I like my makeup in this video. Let's upload it. So you'll be seeing a new vlog soon. This video will be up first. But whenever it goes up, I will leave a link down below to the vlog. So if you're watching this, guys, in the future, like you could be watching this 2050. Oh, that's so weird. Hey, if you're in 2020, if you're in 2020 and watching this, uh, comment, hey, it's 2020. Woo! Um, I'll see you all soon. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry I'm in a really weird mood. All my links are down below to my social media. You should go follow me because, hey. And I will see you all soon. 
Bye! That was Zara. Zara, shout out to you.